December blizzard, gusty winds, more than a foot of snow. No matter where you live in Rhode Island, you're under mounds of snowfall. This weekend's winter storm proved to be big and dangerous. We have live in-depth weather team coverage tonight. Meteorologist T.J. Del Santo is in the live Pinpoint Doppler 12 forecast center monitoring the after effects of the storm. But first, Eyewitness News reporter Danielle North joins us now live with details on the increase of patients to local emergency rooms. Well, Mike, Rhode Island Hospital's ER was uh, pretty quiet while the snow was falling. But once everybody started uh, tackling the snow banks here, well, that's when they started to see it get real busy with some snow removal related injuries. Sunday's storm dumped more than a foot of snow on driveways and sidewalks. And that meant a lot of heavy lifting for a lot of southern New Englanders. While others were lucky enough to use a snowblower to blast through the piles of wintry precipitation. We had six of them by about three o'clock. And by six of them, Dr. Brian Zink means serious snowblower injuries to the hand. People will uh, reach in with their hand to unclog the snowblower and uh, even if the machine is shut off, it can sometimes grab the hand and twist it into the blades. Dr. Zink also tells Eyewitness News some of the patients he treated at Rhode Island Hospital's ER had partial amputations. He suggests using a stick to unclog snowblower blades or a small shovel, which already is attached to some models. Dr. Zink also tells Eyewitness News ER doctors treated at least two heart attacks patients this weekend who had overexerted themselves trying to remove what mother nature left behind. You shouldn't be out working for two or three hours really exerting yourself especially in the cold air uh, uh, if you're not used to that or prepared for it. And Rhode Island Hospital tells us that all of the patients that we just mentioned were treated and released. We're live at the Providence Mobile Newsroom. I'm Danielle North, Eyewitness News.